What's up, YouTube? Silver Dragons here. I just made the largest silver purchase I have ever made. We're going to go through it and see if we got anything good. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This is going to be a fun one. So I went and I bought 88 ounces of generic silver. Uh, so we got... These are tubes of 20, so four tubes of 20 is 80, and then we have an additional eight ounces here. Um, these are all considered generic silver. Um, they're all one ounce rounds. Uh, I still need to look through them and see if we have anything good, so we're gonna do that in this video. Uh, the reason I bought all 80 ounces was to actually melt them down. This is the easiest thing to melt down if you want to do silver pouring. They're very, very cheap just to buy one ounce silver rounds. Uh, sometimes you can buy 10 ounce silver bars for a little bit cheaper. Silver shot is usually more expensive. So if you just want to melt down cheap silver, then these generic silver rounds are a great way to go. Uh, and also they're very fun to look through and see if you have any good vintage silver pieces. So let's go through them and uh, see if we have anything good. What's this one here? Let's see, it says um, Royale something something. Uh, I'm not sure, I've never seen this one before. Royal Canadian Mint though up on the side. See that, Royal Canadian Mint. I wonder if this is an actual RCM round. Does anyone know anything about these? Uh, let me know in the comments. It's uh, only three nines fine, but it is dated 1982 there at the bottom so that would be before they had four nines fine bullion in canada uh so you know if this actually is from the royal canadian mint maybe these would have a little bit of a premium so i'm not sure but i got one of those let's see two three of those any more in this batch here four so i got four of the rcm generic rounds i guess they're not coins they don't have face value these look like buffaloes and this one here is uh, International Trade Round Silver. <laughs> okay, it's funny because a lot of these are probably gonna be milk spotted. And you know, the guy that sold them to me is probably like, oh, haha, I'm giving milk spotted rounds, but little does he know, I'm just gonna be melting them down, so I don't really care. Um, ooh. What's up, Scottsdale Silver? No way, so we've got a Scottsdale round. These are really sweet. Okay, I don't think I, I've definitely never got one of these before. And the one thing that I do notice right off the bat is the ridges are like insane on this thing. Wow, very, very hefty ridges. Uh, one two ounce silver, three nines fine. That's pretty sweet. I've never got a, a Scottsdale silver round before. So let me set that one aside with one of these. And uh, let's keep going. RMC, we know they went out of business recently. Uh, Buffalo, the Buffaloes, I'm not, here's another one of these 31.1 grams. Um, I've definitely found something similar to this before. Yeah, those are kind of cool. It's like the seeded, uh, those are pretty sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of look through these and see if I find anything unique or different. Okay, so I finished going through all of the generic silver rounds. Uh, I don't want to bore you with me looking, looking through all these. Most of them were actually buffaloes. As you can see, there's a ton of buffaloes right here. Uh, two of those tubes were just only buffaloes. Uh, so these were the ones that I pulled out. I did have a chance to look up some of these on eBay. This one here looks like probably the best find. These are actually going for... Now, I couldn't find any sold because there's only literally two of these listed on eBay. Uh, one of these was listed for $99 and the other one was listed for $39 for buy it now. So, uh, looks like these are probably fairly collectible. I'm not sure how much money I could get for it, but I definitely know I could probably get at least like 30 bucks for this piece. Um, so that's really, really sweet. I mean, I only paid $16 for this generic silver round, right? but I can double my money on it, so that's awesome. I'm definitely not gonna melt this one. I'll set it aside for sure and probably either try and sell it on eBay or uh, you know, if any of you are collecting these, just shoot me an email. We can get something worked out. So that's very, very cool. 
The other ones that I pulled out, this one I just pulled out because I like the look of it. Uh, I think it's pretty sweet. Lift up your eyes. Talent. <laughs> okay, this is just a total generic round. I couldn't find any like this, so I don't think it's collectible. Definitely not vintage, but I thought it was cool, so I pulled it out. Save it from the melter. Uh, this one is the anniversary one. I'm actually going to probably melt those. Those are like a dime a dozen. <laughs> Uh, this one I did look up on eBay. It's the Elemental, and they're going for about twenty-three bucks on eBay. As far as uh, you know, how there there was a ton of them listed, and a lot of them were sold already. Uh, so I don't think this is vintage, but it is kind of cool, and I love the look of this side. So I'm gonna save that one from the Melter. Okay, I am gonna save one of these uh, RCM Royal. Well, it says Royal Canadian Mint, but. The ones I was looking up, it looks like uh, this here at the bottom, if you can see that, uh, Monex, that's I guess the brand, Monex, Mone, whatever, I'm not sure. Um, so, you know, they're not going for a ton of money. I think it was like maybe 18 bucks or 20 bucks. So not a lot of money to be made on these, but I, I'm gonna save one anyway. I think they're kind of cool. I am gonna save the, uh, the Lion Scottsdale. Uh, they're not going for a ton of money on eBay. It's not vintage or anything. Um, you know, maybe a couple bucks over a spot. So 18, 20 bucks on these. But, you know, hey, it's uh, more than what I paid for it. And then I am going to save one of these uh, Golden State Mint. A lot of people like these. Um, they're not super expensive. You can't really flip them for a ton of money. But they are pretty sweet. So, you know, why not save one from the Melter? This one's actually got a little bit of toning on it. So that's okay. Anyway, uh, just a quick video today. I wanted to uh, show you that when you buy a bunch of generic silver rounds, especially if you're gonna do what I do and just melt them down, uh, always go through them and see if you can find any special ones like this one. I think I might have hit a home run on this one. Uh, so I'm gonna see how much money I can make off it, which that's kind of cool. This is sort of like coin roll hunting, but generic silver round roll hunting, <laughs> I guess is a better way to put it. Uh, so these ones that I'm gonna melt down, I'm gonna make some very special limited edition uh, poured items, uh, which will be for sale here very shortly. Something I've never done before. It's gonna be very exciting. I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of time. And when they're done, I'm gonna be, insanely stoked for them. Uh, so I'm going to make 50 individual poured silver items. It's going to be for my one year on YouTube celebration. It's going to be something that I've never even seen before in the form of poured silver. I'm sure people have done it in the past. I've just personally never seen anyone do it. So it's going to be uh, really fun and really cool. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm literally just going to do 50. So once the 50 of the poured items are sold, then I'm not gonna do any more, at least until next year once I hit my two years on YouTube. So uh, anyway, that'll be coming up shortly, so stay tuned for that. Uh, definitely make sure you go through all your generic silver rounds. You might find some beauties like these, especially this one. Uh, and thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.